All right, everyone. So today I wanted to share with you guys a pretty awesome trick that's going to save you a bunch of anvils. And before you ask, is this worth doing? The answer is yes. And I'm going to share with you guys some information in the second half of the video that will hopefully convince you why the answer to that is yes. So let's get right to it here and start off with what this method is going to be. So what we are going to do, and the great timing about this video as well, is we actually have this event starting up here tonight, is we are going to be taking advantage of this primarily with the half stamina for free quests. And what we are going to do is we are going to farm the repeatable quest series in chapter one. So you want to make sure to have your friendship maxed out so you can do the steady effort quest series. And when you actually go and run these quests a total of eight times, not only are you going to have the natural chance for SSR gear to drop, which I believe is, you know, I think it's two or 3%. Let me take a look here at what it is. I think it is actually 2%. It's pretty low, but we're gonna get a guarantee, oh, it's 3%. We're gonna get a guaranteed piece when we finish this eight times, no matter what. Then we're gonna move on to the next one and the next one, and it's a series of five quests. The good news is we're going to be using four out of five of these. The only one that we really don't have to worry too much about is actually going to be the earrings here, um, which I personally like to use the defense set for on most of my units. You know, if you do things a little bit differently, that is totally okay. But four out of the six pieces of gear that we are going to use on most units are indeed going to be attack. So we're going to utilize a lot of these pieces of gear that we get. What we're going to do, though, is we're going to do this as much as we possibly can during the half stamina event, because this quest is now not going to be 10 stamina. It's going to be five, which means that 40 stamina is going to give us at least one piece of SSR gear guaranteed. And that doesn't include the 3% drop rate. We're probably actually looking at even more than that. So, you know, if you've got a decent number of stamina potions, you are looking at a truckload of SSR gear and that's really really important because the next step is what we want to do is we want to go through and we are not going to focus on the gear that rolled uh, the initial stat as not super great so just to show you as an example here if we go to you know these bracers here they rolled a really really good base stat of attack right 518 on a range of 390 to 520 Obviously, all the gear that you're going to get, it's going to be random. It's going to vary. Some of them are going to be bad. Some of them are going to be really good. And we are not really going to be looking a whole lot at the ones that rolled bad. Now, you do not need to be a perfectionist for this. Very, very important because these numbers here, the basic stats, they don't go multiplicatively. Like if you have a really bad roll, like 390, it doesn't get worse as you um, enhance and awaken the gear. Uh, it's just going to be short that amount of attack. So, you know, if I had 500 attack out of a range of 390 through 520, I'm short 20 attack. That means that this bracelet is always going to be short 20 attack, even when we get it to the absolute maximum level. So it's not going to multiply to being short even more than that. So you don't have to be perfect. I would say as long as it's in the top, you know, 10 to 20% or so, that is great. But you're still going to want to farm a good amount of this gear anyway. Now, with the bad versions of it, the ones that rolled really bad stats, those ones you can just go ahead and, uh, you know, salvage them. Take them up to plus five, of course, if you want to spend the gold and the awakening stones to get some additional materials. And if you really want to go the extra mile, what you can actually do is you can wait until the salvage event, hold on to as much of the stuff as you can. You can equip, you know, bad sets on units that you don't really use much to save out on some uh, storage space and just salvage it all during the actual um, uh, enhancement events uh, for bonus materials. So it's up to you though. We're not going to be using that. What we're going to be focusing on are the ones that did roll well. What we're going to do with the ones that did roll well is we are going to awaken those to one star. So anything that rolled in the top range of, uh, you know, 10 to 20%. So I would say 390 to 520 I would absolutely say anything 500 plus you should uh, you should use that and you should awaken it to one star now what this is going to do and I want to show you a piece of equipment here at what the cost is to just awaken something to um, to one star so let's go to let's just do this defense rune right here and let's go 
see what the stats are. 2715. So this one is, I would definitely go with this one here. We're, we're looking at around, you know, the top 15 to 20% or so on the basic stats. And then we would take it up to plus five and that we would awaken. So the first star awaken is going to cost 80,000 gold and one awakening stone. And what this is going to do is it's going to give us one roll for free, essentially, without actually having to use anvils. At the cost of, of course, the stamina, the gold, and the one awakening stone that we used in order to get here. And I know what some of you guys are thinking, like, is this really worth it? Yes. Yes, it is. And I'll share with you guys some numbers here so you can understand how worth it this actually is. So let's just do this one here as a bit of a test to see if we can actually get a good roll. So this is essentially the equivalent of using five anvils. Obviously, a lot of the times we're not going to get something that we want. But if we do get something that we want here, we've now locked up having to re-roll one of the five substats on this piece of gear. And now we can just continue enhancing it and awakening as normal and then use anvils on the other four substats. So what we did is we spent stamina, time, efforts, and uh, one awakening stone instead of the anvils. Now, I know the question is, is it really worth it? Yes. Think of it this way. You are going to have to reroll a lot of substats on SSR gear when you get to this point in the game. And your options are two gems, five anvils, and of course, in the future, we will also have hammers, but those are also a scarce, valuable resource. That means that if you do the basic math here, that two gems or five anvils, one anvil is worth 40% of a gem. So almost half of a gem is the value of an anvil. So going through and using resources like stamina, which regenerates every two minutes, and gold, which you can farm and have stamina events, things that are much easier to come by than anvils, absolutely it is going to be worth it. And just going through some, some numbers here, you know, if you're trying to get a good HP roll, let's say you are looking for 2.5% or higher, just getting a regular old HP roll is going to take an average of four rerolls. So already you're looking at 20 anvils or eight gems worth of rerolls. Then if you want to get a 2.5% HP roll, that's going to take another, you know, I don't know, a lot. It's going to take probably 20 to 30 rerolls on average in order to get a roll like that. So you're looking at 100 to 150 anvils or 20 to 30 or so gems. That's a whole multi right there. So if we can go through and use resources that regenerate and are much easier to come by, like stamina and gold and those awakening stones, yes. If you're wondering about the awakening stones, by the way, they will pile up much more than the actual anvils and hammers that you get in this game. The anvils and hammers are going to be the much, much more limited resource. You can always do things like uh, summon on the uh, gold equipment banner as well, saving up um, equipment for the salvaging events. That type of stuff is going to pile up like crazy when it comes to the long term. Something that's not going to pile up like crazy are anvils and hammers because of how valuable and useful they actually are and how many of them you really need to use in order to roll to get the stats that you are actually looking for. So yes, this is definitely going to be worth it. So what this does is by the end of it, we're going to have one of those stats locked up and we will now only have to worry about the other four. So especially with this uh, half stamina event that is coming up here, which is why I said uh, this video is great timing because in 10 hours, probably eight hours by the time that this is uploaded, you'll be able to go through and really farm out those, uh, you know, repeatable quests that give you guaranteed SSR gear for five stamina each. That means you'll be able to get a guaranteed piece of gear for 40 stamina and rack up those sets to start working on your substats. So definitely worth it and something that I thought that I would put out there for those of you guys who are free to play or you're looking to really just get the most out of the resources in this game that you possibly can. So that's gonna be it for the video today though. I hope that you guys enjoyed um, and that hopefully you'll be able to utilize the strategy at least a little bit with this upcoming half events for free quests. So, 
With that all being said, though, that is going to be it for today. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching. If you enjoyed and you want more videos like this, consider subscribing to the channel. If you want to leave a quick like as well, feel free. Really do appreciate it. And more 7 Deadly Sins Grand Cross global videos should be popping up on the screen right about now. Feel free to check them out. But if not, until next time, take care, everyone. Have a fantastic day. And this is Salt of the Salty Guild, signing out.